Hello, my glowing reflectors. Let's talk about your strategy, which is to wait the lunar cycle. <laughs> now, what does that mean? Okay, so reflectors, when I say wait the lunar cycle as your strategy, that, you know, human design is all about decision making. It's fundamentally about decision making, the mechanics of how you were designed to make decisions as yourself so that you can walk the life's path that will help you reach your highest potential. As a reflector, you, your aura type is a sampling aura type. It's always kind of sampling. It's sampling the other auras around you. It's sampling the transits. It's sampling the room. It's sampling the environment. It's doing all this sampling. And like we, I've said in the energy type video, you're very fluid, right? You're your person. You're very just fluid in general. And things can shift and change. Now we've talked about how in your energy type video creating a lunar ephemeris for each month, right? going through one month and just noticing how where the moon shows up within the wheel um, and making different connections as it moves through the different gates, how that'll uh, activate certain centers or and make definition for that short period of time and how that interplay changes throughout the month, you can kind of really start tracking how you operate throughout the whole month. And that will be cyclical. It'll kind of repeat month after month or lunar cycle, I should rephrase that, lunar cycle after lunar cycle after lunar cycle. And this lets you bring a lot of awareness to yourself. This is what creates that pattern in your life that you can more count on since you do have so much openness. So whenever you're making big, and I'm talking big life decisions, not like what are you going to have for lunch? Because if you had to wait a lunar cycle every time, what, what you're going to have for lunch, that would be a problem, right? So your strategy is to wait the lunar cycle. And Remember, strategy is all about how we interact with the world, you know? So someone comes to you and asks you for something, whatever it is, and it's a big thing. You're, they're like, hey, do you want to move to Idaho? That is not a decision to make in the moment for you. That is a decision to be like, okay, can you get back to me next month? <laughs> And they're going to look at you like you're freaking crazy. They're going to be like, what? You're like, I need a month. I, I don't know yet. Let me take a month. And you take that month. Maybe you go visit Idaho during that month. So you can kind of sample the area that that person invited you to. You can kind of sample the people. You allow yourself to experience all the different activations, the different feelings that you have about this, that of moving to Idaho. And throughout that, you will gain clarity. And by the end of that time, you're going to be like a clear yes, this is correct for me or no. And you're not asking other people in this time. You are simply just sampling. You're like, okay, like today, like that seems like a good idea. What activations are there in my chart? Just for some reference, it really doesn't matter. You could just kind of give yourself the time and see how you feel. And basically, during that time, you're going to kind of be able to tell, am I leaning more yes most of the time or am I leaning more no? If it's not completely clear to you, you can kind of weigh that. Like you can even keep a journal throughout that time. Like, okay, like today I'm feeling like very yes, like moving to Idaho is right for me. Or, and then, you know, and that could be true for like the next four days. And then, you know, the next like few days after that, you're like, oh no, 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 no. And so this is the big thing. And again, like when they're big life decisions like that, go if you're able to go into the environment, if you're able to, if it's a move, if you're able to visit the area, like go do that. Give yourself time to sample because then you will have a better feeling if that's correct for you. So remember, strategy is how we interact with the world. When we are following our strategy, we are allowing, we're 
allowing ourselves to surrender. Our society conditions us to go out and do, to make things happen, to do, 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 just make it happen. Like you could do it, you could go after your dreams, just make it happen. But that's the manifestor strategy. That's not your strategy. Your strategy is to allow things to come to you. And when they do come to you, to allow yourself that when they're big things, to allow yourself that lunar cycle to make that decision. To allow yourself to sample all the different feelings, all the different activations. Let's say it's a job. You have this job opportunity that has come to you. And if you're able, you know, you know, in a perfect world, you'll always be able for these big decisions to wait a lunar cycle, right? In a perfect world. <laughs> but, you know, it's not, we don't live in a perfect world. So sometimes we have to make quicker decisions, but definitely allowing it to be put off as long as possible allowing yourself to have space to sample, you know, coming back to the job thing, if you're offered a new job, you know, being like, okay, like, let me have some time to think about it. And I know that's scary. Like, what if this is your dream job, dream job? And you're like, mm, let me have a little bit of time. You're good. It's like, you're like, and I'm going to tell this person to wait a month. I'll tell you what, if they really want you, which if you have done that, you've just kind of surrendered and allowed it to come to you, they really want you. And you're gonna make them want to desire you even more. Then they'll be like, oh, like, let me throw something else in. Like you want a bonus, a sign on bonus, or the this, or that, you never know what might happen. I'm not guaranteeing that, but you never know. So if you're able to go into that work environment so you can sample the environment, you can sample the people, definitely do that any way that you can kind of allow your aura to sample as much as possible. This is also your authority. So uh, that's the when the reflectors are special reflectors, your strategy and authority are the same. And um, so I will, t I will go a little bit more into how to use this lunar cycle as your authority in the authority video, but they are the same. In strategy and authority, they go hand in hand in human design. When we start to surrender and follow our strategy and authority, that's when we learn to surrender. You know, all, if you're a spiritual person or anything, or you've at least heard like, you know, surrender, just surrender, allow life to come to you, blah, 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 blah. Um, the biggest lesson in surrendering is following your strategy and authority, experimenting with it. Human design is simply an experiment. Never take my word for it. I want you to see it for yourself. Experiment. Don't take anything I say as dogma. It's not. You know what's correct for you. I don't. I am just here to use my outer authority, my mind, to express to you everything that I've learned and I've seen and I've witnessed within myself and the other and the people in my life. So take your experiment, please. The one thing I do highly recommend, there's no hard and fast rules here, but there are recommendations is to create your lunar ephemeris and see how you flow throughout the lunar month. And it might give you so much insight as to why things have been the way they are, or you uh, mm, acted or kind of like flowed the way you flow, you know, and you've never understood it. This might bring so much understanding. All right, I will catch you in the next video.